Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Bad Citizen Point Part 2. We just want to encourage you to make sure you have your screen optimized for best viewing pleasure. There's a slide, a couple slides that show you how to do that. And if you can hear me now, then you can hear our show. Enjoy the evening.
Good evening, all. Welcome to Bad Citizen Part 2. Uh, we hope you're enjoying our slides, and we just want to remind you, for best viewing, please expand and maximize your Zoom window, choose gallery settings, and enjoy the show tonight. We'll be starting in about 10, 15 minutes. Thanks.
Good evening, everyone. We are less than five minutes away, so now's a good time to refill your drink and get yourself comfortable. We look forward to presenting to you Bad Citizen Part 2 in just a few minutes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Bad Citizen Part Two. This is a joint production of Northwest Theater Workshop and Theater Vertigo. My name is Wayne Harrell. I'll be your host for this evening here at the beginning of the show and then again at the end. And we'd like to welcome you to the world premiere of four brand new plays written by local artists. That's local in Portland, Oregon. I know we have guests from all over the world checking in. So welcome again to you all, whatever time of day it is. We're honored to have you here. 
Uh, just a couple of technical details. I want to make sure that you can hear me okay. Um, this is my natural voice, and so you have the power to adjust up or down if you like the volume or not. Then also, I encourage you to make sure that you can see us to the best advantage. To do that, within Zoom, in the upper right-hand corner, there should be a small little box. And if you click on that, you want to ch check on full screen view. So expand your screen to full screen view. And then next to it, there's a, you might have the, also the option of gallery view or speaker view. We want you to choose gallery view, please. That will give you an equal view of all the screens that are available whenever they're on the screen. Okay. And then the last thing down at the bottom of the screen, there's a small talk bubble. That's our chat button. And chat with us. You're welcome to chat with us right now during this introduction and in between each play. And then most importantly, at the end of the play, we'll have a short talk back where you can share your thoughts and reactions to the play. So just click on that chat button when you're ready. And then on the, you can Type your message right there at the bottom. And then most importantly, there's a blue box that says two. Please select two, all panelists and attendees. You, the audience, are the attendees. So please select all attendees when you chat with us. OK, those are all the technical details. I think it's time to go. So please sit back and relax and enjoy Bad Citizen Part 2. It could be entirely reset today, like right now, and no one knows it well enough. Right, because Leonte's crew is entirely the Congress and the Senate. Oh. No one wants to work for an idiot, but then they have no other choice than each other. And right, if they can't work together, then we're all up a creek. What creek? There's a plan. Do you think we can use it? I mean, what would it change, really? It would be an interesting show. I think any show changes need Vaughn's approval. Oh, of course, Vaughn's the director. Alex, thanks for sharing the Facebook post, but it only works if everyone comments and shares. I may be negligent, foolish, and fearful. In every one of these, no leader fleet free. Be plainer with me. Let me know my trespass by its own visage. You know, that line's perfect. We can totally use this play to show that no one will work for an idiot. Is that what that line means? How do you not know what your line means? It's preview night. Speaking of hey, preview night... I'm trying oh, yeah. to figure it out. Thanks, Alex. Uh, what's with the noise? Can you mute yourself? It's really obnoxious. Well, it helps me focus, but I guess. Hey, hey, no, you're fine, but quiet. Vaughn's going to give notes so we can save the day. Right. What? Right. Save the day? I have an idea, actually. I think we should leave the direction to the director, Alex, and maybe you two talk later. Jean, you're muted. 
What about saving the day? What needs saving? We do. Didn't you get the email? Why do we need saving? I sent an email. You can read up later. Ugh, fine. Though for now, I think we should just focus on Vaughn's notes for tonight. Rent is past due to the point of eviction, and we need to pay it by Monday or get evicted. Not that we can even use the theater. It would be nice to have one to go back to, though. We're losing the theater. No. Thanks for reading the email, Alex, but you leave out that there's a plan. Vaughn's notes. Fix the show. Okay, he comes to see it. Thinks it's great. So we sell out this weekend and make rent easy by Monday. And since Kay is, in fact, Yay. coming. It's a real show when Kay comes. I didn't get an email. Uh, really so did. notes, uh, my notes. Uh, I. Uh... Could we talk, Vaughn? I don't think it would change a lot of things, really. But Hey, hey, hey come on. Quiet. Everybody, we need... To keep working. What? I just want the show to be good. What email? I saw you sent one like an hour ago. And we're putting this all on Kay. She's a real leader. If we put up a truly great show, she'll tell people they'll come. You know it. And she loves your work, so she'll put us on blast. So we just need Vaughn's notes to fix everything. And then... Does anybody else smell smoke? There's an atmosphere to it. I mean, I, there's a, a, I should go check the... the uh, uh, we the... can't smell where you are. This is Zoom. Right, 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 right. I yeah. mean, come back we, quickly. We have like five minutes. So, um, Sam, if you could possibly uh, take care of this. And if I'm not back in five minutes, please start the run. Thank you. Do you smell anything? Is it the fires? I, I think- It's just another I... breathing fit. They'll be back. Speaking of- Wait, Mac, let's talk about the run. I would love to, but nicotine, gotta go. Is this really the time? Come on, you two. Just give me a minute, promise. What, we can't make Vaughn get back any faster. Or Mac. Fair. Five minutes, and then we run it, and hopefully Vaughn will be back before that. You did just put the entire future of the company on his notes. So. I know, but I think we could get a good run in if we all behaved and showed a little restraint. That sounds entirely doable. Jean, mute yourself, please. I I've almost got it. I mean, in a minute. It's like... It's like, speak plainer is like truth, speak truth is power, right? Like me to you saying, in a minute. Just focus, please. Alex, put your phone away! Hey, if I don't keep up with the news on my phone, I may find out that America is past due on its rent and is about to be evicted. This wouldn't all be on my shoulders if you stayed half as engaged with company news as the news on your phone. If it's all on your shoulders, then why are we here? We're here to rehearse and figure out how to pay the rent. So it was not a fire in the kitchen. Thank goodness it was nothing, but I unplugged everything. Great, good we call. That there Just was in no case. Fire that you're just sniffing around in the corner to avoid giving us notes. Jean? Uh, no. I thought my house was on fire, and so I had to reprioritize. As is your prerogative as the director. To go in a new direction. Like, if you decided to have Mac dressed as Trump and had him exunt chased by Bear, but one that had a sickle and was in Russian garb. That's Antigonus, the right-hand man. You can't make me Trump. <laughs> People change Shakespeare all the time. I mean, the bear could just come back around later. And we should to make it relevant. Hey, no. Vaughn is already yeah. directed. It no, could. but then deal plainer with me could be like deal fairly, like honest and upright. Hey, if the goal is to sell tickets, this is not the way. This is not how, how, how a Drammy is one. This whistle! Turns out. None of your opinions on how to fix the show are the ones we need right now. Turns out we hired a director to direct us. Vaughn, 
your notes. Uh, 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 yeah, my notes are really that. Uh, that are you sure you, that you don't smell anything? I, I, I should go check that electrical outlet in the corner, which Please, is very. Please, Vaughn, just tell us what you were going to say at the top of rehearsal. Oh, well, that. Well, I was going to say that. Have a great preview, everybody. You've also done some great work. And I really see how the show is shaping up. And I think I think I may give you a few notes right after the run is done. But I love the production. And I really I am I'm very excited about what you're all doing with your characters tonight and with your craft. <laughs> are are you sure? Yeah. These are all very complex humans. And you're all you're all bringing yourselves to them. No, okay. we, we have to be really saying really something or missing out on a real it. opportunity it's to engage the audience and other. make That's real change. How Grammy is one. Sam, Sam, I need to step away for one minute. Please take take over this, please, Sam. One minute. No, not Sam. We'll end up doing another topless twelfth night. It sold tickets. It kept us open this last year, and I had half as many receipts to file and turn in. Are you still mad? Because it kept us open. It wasn't great art, I know. It was fun and it paid our bills. Those have to get paid sometimes. We have to get paid sometimes. And I paid them. A thanks seems fair. And a thanks for all the nights I fall asleep on my keyboard doing the social media work you all refuse to. I'm done. I'm sorry, Vaughn. I quit. I can't force these people to be a company. I can't save a thing that's already dead. But of course quit now. When, when we're really up a creek and the water's choppy. When we're making real art. You're getting a shot at making real art because of what Twelfth Night paid for. Which has run out because you refused to follow a plan I put together. I didn't know that there was a plan or a problem because you can't send an email an hour before rehearsal and call that communication. I think the show is going to be great. I really? I think I got it. If you're going to leave all the paddling to me, you don't get to complain where we end up, especially if you won't get in hey, the boat. Hey, stop. I figured it out. It's none of us. None of us is free, not just the leaders, right? Like we struck out no one man and wrote in no leader in the script, right? But Vaughn, could I change it to none of us? Like, it's not just a leader's job to lead. We're all foolish and we all have to be held accountable. Yeah, Jean, that's right, I think. I really like that. It fits well with the rest of the story and it unifies it very nicely. So thank you. Thank you. I had to find it, but I knew it was there. I like this production. Sam, I thought Topless Twelfth Night was dumb, but it got us through this last year, so thank you. I bail often. I'm sorry, I'm trying to quit, honest. Wanna run line, Sheen? I know it helps you and I could use it too. Yes, please. Yeah. I'm, oh, sorry about the noise, Sam. I can mute myself when not needed. And Sam, if you need a break, that is fine. I would like you, however, to reconsider quitting, though, and staying with this production and the project. Hmm? All right. Jean, from your line, please. I may be negligent, foolish, and fearful. In every one of these, none of us free. Be plainer with me. Let me know my trespass by its own visage. And be you blessed for it.
Enjoy the free hot dogs and beers, losers! No greater reward for your years of service. And don't forget to take in the aroma of the smoke they're blowing up your asses about how grateful they are. Come on, killer. Well, you didn't help save the world. You just followed somebody else's stupid orders. You shut the fuck up. They were just offering you a hot dog, for Christ's sake. Well, shit. Now they can all get to go back to their cozy homes, believing they shit ice cream. Those vets over there are your comrades in arms. Treat them like that. And get your own goddamn home. But I'd be turning down this cozy getaway. My park ranger here has found me. And besides, a home is sacred, Angel. And a screwed up in the head homeless dude would only ruin it. I think you'd do a home right, killer. Son of a bitch. Leave it. Someone needs to make her and her food bars go away. I mean, no one needs that here. Hey, I said leave it. You're a good man, okay? So keep away from her, got it? Do I make myself clear, soldier? Yes, sir. It's my daughter. Couldn't take living with me. Is that right? Rather be out here handing out food bars, I guess. I gotta head back. Don't worry, Angel. We got this. Make friends, not war. If you say so. In lame ass advice is more like it. I'm staying away. Yes, sir. Anything you say, sir. Fuck. Keep it quiet out there. Hey, no fags are bossing me. And besides, I'm trying to smoke and drink. What do you say to that? What? I don't want your food, boss. Then get. Can't. Already am. Gotten. A way that is, I deserved it. For drinking orange soda? <laughs> True old words. First time I had one of these, I said to myself, this gorgeous elixir is too good to be true. I was right. The high fructose corn syrup kind of turns me into a raging asshole. So you don't have a choice but to be a raging asshole. Okay. But you chose to pitch a tent here with those signs on Veterans Day. I'm a veteran. I'm not. And you're a bully. You don't get to call me that. Well, you're bullying me into leaving. Don't call me a bully. Well, is this where you bully me into not calling you a bully? It's just not cool. Well, you are. Doesn't mean you gotta call me names. You just called me a fag. Well, okay, I know it, but it's not like I just got mad and I couldn't stop myself. It's just what you do, you know? No, I don't know. No? You had it your way, you'd add bully to each one of these signs. Make friends, not war, bully. No smoking within... 10 feet of this sign, bully. Free food bars, bully. Okay. I'm sorry I called you a bully. For real? No, you're a raging asshole. Bigoted bully like every other warmonger out here. Now, don't you start in on her. That woman is the wait, most wait, decent who woman. Who are we talking about? Could you just uh, go away, please? I, I just want to go to bed. Sure. This is your home? You're feeding people out here from your home? Gee, I, I never would have thought. I, uh, I just thought you were pulling some childish tantrum to get back at your mom. I thought I heard her voice. It was that bad, huh? Living in a nice home with her that you'd rather be out here? You're a good daughter from what she tells me. 
No, I'm just a good soldier who lost a best friend trying to hammer him into putting his goddamn rifle together when it was too cold for his hands to work and the bullets were flying. That or die, so what? So I didn't help him. He was always there for me and I didn't help him. You look kind of shaky. <laughs> I'm good. I'm no nutritionist, but I don't think orange dye number four is a food group. No, and, and you deserve to be homeless. I enlisted because mom pushed me into it. Are you saying you didn't have a choice to be a raging asshole? I am trying not to be one now. I said no. May Allah reward you in goodness. Somebody uh, uh, taught that to me once. They fed me in their home. I asked how to say thank you, and that's what I learned. You know, mom was the one who brought me here when I was younger, taught me to hand out food bars to the people living in the park in case you need someone to blame. You don't, you, you never take my food bars. You don't even look at me. I bet the ranger here could get you to take one. People used to be super happy to see her. Listen, you gotta go. None of the vets in the park are happy you're here and they're making threats. What if I say no? It's up to me to make sure people don't hurt each other. <laughs> Too late for that. Hey. Stop right there. Or what? That is a person and you will not pull a person out of their home. It's okay. No, it's not. They fed me. You, you can't just pull them out of their home. That they're, they're gonna get slaughtered. Oh, shit. Okay. You win. No slaughtering, okay? They're gonna get slaughtered. How many times do they gotta get killer. slaughtered? Killer, killer, it's me. Angel. Take a seat on the ground, okay? Breathe. No, they 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 <laughs> they fed me in their home. Give me a pillow. I can't I I can't just pull them out of their home to be shot. You're okay. You're with me in the park. No one's getting shot today, okay? They fed me in their home. I took their... F yes, sir. Anything you say, sir. Fuck. It's okay. I could have done something. It was too good to be true. Too good to be true. Too good to be true. It's okay. No one's getting hurt on your watch. Okay? It's over. It wasn't enough. Saying thank you and learning that stupid phrase. It wasn't enough. No. You were there with him? I ate the same food with the same family in the same beautiful house. Saw the same heads get blown off. Except he was the one I let down. Bullshit. It was you there when I got out of the mental hospital. It was you that took care of me, no one else. I choked. You think I don't know that? I just stood there. I couldn't go through with it. Yeah, let's get your drink, okay? Get that toxic shit away from me. You were ashamed of doing the right thing? I failed my team because I didn't follow orders. Bullshit. Bullshit. You stood up for me just now when you thought I was getting, you know, grateful for it. You did good. No, you cannot. Uh, no, no one gets to thank me, especially not some nice girl. I kind of just did. Well, then take it back. Did you or did you not just stand up for me? Then suck it up, soldier. Well, do you want me to follow orders or not? It's just for show. It would make their day. What's your name? Killer. They 
called me. Killing no, me. your real name, not the one that defines you like that. Justin. Justin, I'm Shira. The tent, my home is yours. And it's it's full of food bars. You'd be doing me a favor if you took them. May Allah reward you in goodness. How'd it go? O'Reilly, I can't hear you. No, I still can't hear you. Unmute yourself. O'Reilly, what are you doing? I tell you what, huh. I just, the thing is, sorry, sorry, I, I just, I'm running away from people. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. You'll have to tell. Me? And it's even worse than that. I just had word that a gang's in town, the most dangerous of them all. We don't have much time. But... I can't hear you either. Maggie! Can you hear me now? Yes, thank you. Oh my gosh, Clarissa, I am so glad I have you. Why, how was it this time, darling? Oh, it was awful. You'd think you'd be getting better with all the practice he's been getting with us. Did he at least say more than three words to you this time? Yep. Today he talked his crazy fool head off, saying it's too dangerous and he wants to get us out of here. You know, Clarissa, I actually feel sorry for the man. He's so worn out from mining, and then he gives up his precious little nuggets of metal just to be invited in here. And from what I can tell, he's got no family or friends but us. We are his family now. I don't know about that, Clarissa. Uh, you and I are family enough. I did lie to you, though. Every time we've ever gotten together, all he wants to do is talk. I mean, we've never... You know, never. In like bread and butter? That's okay. He's still paying you for your time, right? Mm -hmm. Not that it buys anything anymore. Though, once we get out of here, it will. Out of here? I know I promised I'd stay and fight with you, Mag. But, look, all we have now are a bunch of good-for-nothing bandits raiding and looting this poor, abandoned town, and it just keeps getting worse. I don't care. This is my mama's house and I gave her my word I'd take care of it. Violet didn't exactly give you the best life, Mag. 
Mama wanted me to have the stable life she never did. Giving me this house was the only way she knew how to do that. It was her pot of gold. And now it's mine. No, I can't believe you're breaking your word to me when we agreed we would beat these thieving monsters sister to sister. If you really cared about me, you'd help me save this house. I ain't going with no stranger like O'Reilly. But don't you hear that out there? It sounds like a gang. Maybe even the Quincy gang? <laughs> the Quincy? Don't be ridiculous, woman. Such a powerful mob wouldn't waste their time on a beat-up old town like this. Don't be so sure, Mag. There are things we don't always know. Listen, as soon as your mother, Violet, died, your father, O'Reilly, wanted me to come here and watch out for you with him. O'Reilly, my... No. No, you nutty woman. My good-for-nothing daddy died years ago. You're lying. I swear it's the truth. Why would I lie to you? Oh, oh so now you're calling my mother a liar. My father's dead. No, he's not dead. <laughs> he's not... Well, then I wish he was for doing what he did to me. He abandoned me when I needed him most. Listen, we never wanted it to come out like this, but he was so ashamed of his past. He never had the guts to tell you. And here all this time, you've been acting as if he's just like any other man coming in here for business. What is it the two of you want from me, huh? It's not like that, Maggie, and it's crazy to stay here. But this is the only place I've ever known. We can't live in a lawless town like this. I don't know. I don't know. Stop pressuring me, will ya? But you gotta understand that there's just... Look, ladies, there's no time to lose. You get your bags and let's go. I ain't going nowhere with you. There's no proof you're who you claim you are. But if you really cared about me, you'd stay here and fight. Well... I see. Get out of this house now, both of you. Get out of my house! But we're surrounded, Mag. This is it. Just look out there. I'm not going anywhere without you. It's like a war out there. And they'll destroy this place too. Now what? What? What are you doing now? If I can't save this place, I'll leave it. But I'll do it by myself. I can take care of myself. Don't go alone, Mag. You're gonna get yourself killed if you walk out that door! Hurry in and bolt that door back up! Oh. We almost lost you there, little Mag. Then I think you fainted or something. I think I froze up, thank you. Oh, I do love you, child, but there was a bounty on my head and if they knew you were my daughter, they might have- You think I can just forgive you after all these years? No, I still don't trust either of you. But I don't want to die here alone either. I'll go with you, but only because I have no other choice. They're here, we gotta go! We'll live through the cellar door now, hurry! Hurry! So long, Mama.
Banks don't have to pay late fees. Brian, I thought you paid this one. Well, I did. I guess the check didn't go through. You have to tell me these things, Brian. We can't lose this place. Our family left the mortuary for us to take care of after they died. It's my responsibility to make sure it thrives. But Rachel, we didn't have any money in the bank. We were going to write a check open a new account at a different bank, then write a check for that check. But you didn't open the new account. I thought we'd have enough money by then. I can't open another account. I'm on the list. We just need a little help to get on top of things. Where's Joey? He can open an account in his name. Uh, we couldn't afford to pay him. He quit? Our one and only embalmer is gone. He's been with the business for years. We couldn't afford to pay him. At, look on the bright side. No severance. I'm glad Grandma Sue's not here to see we'd let Joe go. She would have said, that's not right, Rachel. I know, Grandma Sue loved having Joe around. I remember calling him Uncle Joe because he felt like family. She's probably turning in her grave right now. I can hear her voice now. Joe's part of this family, and you don't hurt family, Rachel. Treat your employees like family. It's the right thing to do, she'd say. It's just nobody's died in months. Everyone's young here and no one's getting sick. Which is freaking crazy because when I heard that parents aren't vaccinating their kids, I said to myself, here comes the payoff. But it's not like that. Uh, people are healthier now. Everything's organic. No one smokes. No one even drives to work. And that means no accidents. We need people to die because we need the money. Otherwise, the bank will take our property. I know it's hard, Rachel. Our family didn't prepare us for this. All, they, all we know is death. I don't want our family to think we're failures, though we couldn't keep the mortuary alive. Well, they worked so hard for this. It was easy for them. They had wars, bombings, things that made a killing for the business. Maybe we can get a bailout. I, uh, I'm sh we've been helping the community for years. I'm sure because of our reputation, the bank will help us out. Well, it seems like that's the right thing for them to do. It could be a bill collector. Hide. Guys. Uh, I can see you through the window. No, I can still see you through the window. Listen, you have five days to resolve your debt or else the bank will seize the property and you will be out of business. But this business has been ours for over 80 years. Why can't you give us a bailout? Right. Ah, 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 ah. Stupid small business owners, you don't qualify for a bailout. You're not a big business. You don't have any employees, and your industry is dying. Our big business needs bailouts because we fix messes like the one you're in now. Come to the bank when you have the money. It's the only right thing to do. But what if we can't get the money? What part of you'll be out of business? Do you not understand? No money, no mortuary. You have five days. <laughs> what about the people buried here? They don't care about the people, Bree. It's not right that the bank can take our property like this, leaving us in financial ruin. It's all about the profit with these banks. They're destroying people's lives, and they love it. We've never had a bankruptcy, but when the big banks screw up, they get a bailout. Only CEOs get forgiven, and no one goes to jail. I have an idea. We could rob the bank. 
they'd still end up on top. The banks control the interest rates. They'd probably charge higher fees on loans and lower the rates for people who barely have any savings. No, we need to do something bigger. It's the banks that have to suffer. It's, if the banks are the ones that put us in this mess, it's only right for them to get us out of it. Oh, Grandma Sue, I look to you for guidance. Please help us. Yes, Grandma Sue, don't let your death be in vain. Poor Grandma Sue, all she did was fall into an open grave and that was the end. What a tragic death. At least she already had a plot picked out. Bree, that's it. Grandma Sue? It was an accident when she died, right? Accidents happen. Banker could die and it could look like an accident. You mean kill someone on accident to save our business? I know it sounds awful, but listen. That's a great idea. I actually have a list of people here who annoy me and we can just kill them. I have my landlord, my dentist. I even have a few celebrities on here. You know, I just don't care for Elizabeth Moss. Something about her face just doesn't do it for me. Brienne, you can't kill someone because they annoy you or because of their face. That's not right. And celebrities way off the table. Well, what do we do? I'll make a fake deposit, forge some signatures, and we'll slip a little business card in his pocket, and boom, we save our business. Is this right? We're actually going to kill the banker? Bree, the bank is going to take our business. The Downer Mortuary! Don't you want to do the right thing and save our family's legacy? Someone has to die. And it's better if it's someone who works for a shitty corporation. We care about our community. We care about our people. They don't. No, come on. I'll show you how to make it look like an accident. <laughs> what happened? Oh, well, I didn't get to see which banker came here, so it was a little hard to figure out. What did you do? Well, I made it look like an accident. For all of them. All of them? How many bankers are we talking about? Five. Five? How did you know they were all bankers? Oh, I asked them. Don't worry, they all said yes. One even tried to offer me an auto loan, but the interest was way too high. Oh my god. Are you mad? This is the best thing you could have done. Now we're creating a movement, Bree. Justice for all revolution. It's about time the banks get what they deserve, and rightfully so. Quick, turn on the TV. I want to see if I can get some more information. Five bankers found dead today outside of their office building next to their Mercedes-Benz. I'm here right now with a detective in charge of the investigation on the scene. Detective, what is the status of the investigation? Well, Teller, all I can tell you is we located a business card in the jacket pocket of the deceased. It says uh, every funeral should be a downer. Not sure what that means yet, but I'm looking into it. And I have this letter from the CEO to read to you. I'd like to share it with you now. This is a monumental loss for us. These were good people. We have a saying here. We treat our employees like family. These, this was wrong. Anyone with any information about the death of these five bankers will receive a reward from me personally. A debt forgiveness reward. But detective, what if the person doesn't have any debt with the bank? <laughs> Taylor, you cracked me up. This is America. Everyone owes the bank something. Everyone. You are quite right, detective. And thank you. I am Taylor Brownstone reporting live. Back to you at the studio.
treat their employees like family? What have we done? Well, I think it's only fair that one of us should go to jail for this. And then the other one can collect the money and save the family business. Mm -hmm. And it'll have, and it will to, be have to be you. Me? Me? You are the, one... the one who... Stop, Stop repeating everything me. I say. Oh, I, I hate, hate when you do this. Do this. Oh, my oh my god, this, this is the longest, longest we've said the same, same thing, thing at the exact same, same time. time. Freeze frame Freeze high, high five. five. You were the one who committed the crime, Brianne. This was your idea, Rachel. I said one banker, not five. You said this was a movement, a revolution. And you started it. Because you wouldn't come with me. I I had to write the deposits. And besides, you don't know the first thing about running this place. Well, that's what Grandma Sue said about you. How dare you? I have done everything I can to make it right. Look, here's your chance to save the family business. Don't you want to help the family? Family comes first, Bree. We can't lose this. But this doesn't feel right either. You're turning me in so you can save the business? That's not fair. That's not treating me like family. Hello, Downers. This is the detective investigating the death of the five bankers. I'm here to ask you a few questions. Are you going to do the right thing? I don't know. I don't even know what the right thing is anymore. Huzzah! Applause! I can see the applause is happening right now in the chat box. Please go ahead and share your chats, share your thoughts right now. Meanwhile, I'm looking forward to two panelists who will be joining me soon. I've promoted them to panelists, but do I need to do something else? Because I don't see them yet popping up here. That would be John. Oh, there we go. Hey, it's John and Judy. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, what'd you think? What'd you think of that show right there? Well, that was pretty impressive. Great. John, I bet that second play, was that like out of the blue? Had you ever that, seen it before? That was like the best play in the world. I don't, I'd, <laughs> love to, I'd love to meet the playwright. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it would. Hey, real quick, um, all you other people in the audience, send me a question for John or Judy. What do you want to ask them? <laughs> While you do that, I'll say... Judy, that's a nice fireplace you have right there. Thank you. You're looking very good. Judy, what's your, what's your, uh, wh why did you show up tonight? Why are you here? Um, well, I have been working really hard and they needed a good break. And so here I am, c 